very good insight to what AIA Vitality can do for companies by giving them and providing them with data and the support to implement a wellness program. Well, it's great to get a sort of multilateral perspective on the issue of uh, health today. So we got it from a policy standpoint, we got it from an insurer standpoint, we got it from a health player standpoint. And it's rare to get that combination of advice and perspective. I think the main takeaway is that the responsibility really lies on the employers vis-a-vis -vis their employees' health and the variety of tools available to help with that. Uh, but at the end of the day, the employers have to make the choice. What is the biggest killer of human beings today? And it's lifestyle. We incentivize people to change their lifestyle. Increases in healthcare spending are outstripping increases in salaries. Wellness programs save money. An effective workplace program starts at the top with what the C-suite leadership do and the level of engagement from the top. Employees' poor health is becoming an increasing massive cost to both businesses and economies. The good news is as business leaders, we have an immense opportunity to reverse this trend by playing our part. I think the key takeaways is how do you actually measure such a program uh, in terms of the effectiveness and how do you actually implement such a program. The leaders shared pretty interesting insights on companies can work better to implement healthcare strategies and it's really relevant in Singapore's context. We could do more to exercise and keep healthy. I would definitely encourage more HR people to come and attend our AI Vitality Summits to learn more on how you can help to increase the productivity of your workforce through a sustainable wellness program like AI Vitality. All companies should be embarking on a healthy wellness program for their employees.